Today I want to show you some Microsoft SysInternals tools uh, that can help you understand how your hard drive works a little bit more. You can get this as part of the Microsoft SysInternal suite. Just Google that and you'll come to this page. It's a download link right at the top and a list of the individual tools below. The tools we're going to be using today are Disk View, which is a great suite to show you a visual representation of every cluster on your hard drive. You can download it from this page if you don't want the entire suite. And we'll also be using Contig, which is a single file defragmenter. And it's a great way to just defragment one file or just to play around. So let's take a look at Disk View first. As you can see, it shows a graphical representation of your files. And the first thing you need to do when you open this is click Refresh down at the bottom. I've already done that because it takes a good while to scan your entire hard drive. Also notice the zoom buttons. This is how it looks before you zoom in. And if you want to actually drill down and see what's in your hard drive, you're going to need to zoom in quite a bit so you can actually see the individual clusters. If you click around these files, you notice a lot of log files. Let's open one up and see what we have here. And as you can see, the first cluster is in the 20,000s, and the last cluster is actually in the 38 millions. So that's quite a bit fragmented. So let's go ahead and demonstrate Contig, so show you how we can take care of that. So we're going to go to a command prompt. Uh, first we're going to copy our path name from the top. Then we're going to go to our command prompt. And I've already started it. As an administrator, just run CMD and uh, make sure you run it as administrator if you're in Vista or 7. Most of your system internals need administrator routes. So the first thing we're going to do is type contig dash a which is analyze and then we're going to right click and paste in our path name and as you can see it has 17 file fragments which is the same thing that disk view reported so let's change that run that again contig this time we're going to use dash v uh, which is verbose so it'll tell us what it's doing and it's going to attempt to correct the fragmentation which it just did it now has one fragment in the file which basically means it's not fragmented one more time, we'll run dash A, and as you can see, it analyzed one fragment per file. Let's go back to disk view and look a little bit more about how our hard drive is laid out. First thing we want to do is open up uh, the legend so you can kind of see what these colors mean. And as you can see, the green is the system file, and look how much of your hard drive that takes up. White is unwritten, so as you can see, other written portion of the system file takes up quite a large section. If you click around on the files near the front of the drive, they're all related to my browser, my antivirus, things that are being written constantly, and there's a lot of fragments in that area. System files are in the middle. What are these big files at the end? Uh, this is actually a little bit interesting. Uh, they're video files. It's movies that I've downloaded. They're all huge. Uh, the Windows defragmenter puts them at the end because it knows it's video. It knows it needs to be read uh, contiguously for best performance. So it puts them at the end, puts them all together. Pretty smart. And it's interesting how it's all laid out. So I hope you know a little bit more about how your hard drive is laid out and how it works behind the scenes.